Anyhow, if um, you can work out how to use it, um, you add your jobs um, and set them up through this add a new jo uh, backup a job setting, obviously. Also, it will, apparently, I haven't got a Mac so I don't know, but apparently it will work with Time Machine um, and all that sort of thing. Um, I don't really understand, but it apparently does work fine. Um, it also has the readiness fault, which is some sort of online storage, um, which I haven't really looked into at the moment. Uh, you can connect uh, USB printers, which is what I've done. I've connected a USB printer to it, um, and then that makes that printer um, a networked printer, um, and so um, you can um, obviously any computer on your network can then access that print without any other computer having to be on. Here you have all your system stuff, like so your clock, your alerts, if any is a problem, uh, performance, saying how your performance is back up. Sorry, language update, configure uh, backup to backup uh, your settings that you've got on your NAS unit. Uh, power and shutdown. This one here is status, it gives you a health, report um, plus the smart stuff and also you can check the logs. The last one are add-ons. Now this is the big 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 thing about add-ons. Um, if um, uh, you can add new add-ons so a new extension so to speak the, um, in, onto the machine they have um, official add-ons, lots of stuff which you can look at yourself um, at the ReadyNAS website, uh, personal video recorders, file cloud servers, root SSH access, blah 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 and there are also uh, community add-ons um, which are quite a bit more extensive um, I would say um, than the official add-ons and this is one of the big advantages with this is that you can use these add-ons and that's a really really good thing. Okay, so what are my uh, final thoughts um, about the ReadyNAS NAS unit? Well, <clears throat> like any pre-built um, NAS, NAS enclosure and NAS unit, it isn't cheap. I mean, you know, you're talking um, around the 200 euro, 200 dollar stroke uh, mark for the unit which is diskless without any disk in. and then of course you have to buy the drives on top of that and obviously you need with a two, at least two with a, a two bay unit like I've got two um, obviously you can get bigger four six I think even eight bays um, so it isn't cheap um, but it means that you do back things up regularly because it makes it easy to back things up um, either the computer uh, you'll set the computer or the NAS unit to uh, back up automatically at certain times or um, you will just click a button and just let it back up because it's on a network it can, you can just let it run um, how, and however many hours and this is still backing up um, the films that I've got, and as I've got quite a few films, um, nearly half a terabyte of films, it is taking quite a while um, to back those up. But that's not a problem, just leave it running and forget about it. So that is a really, really good thing. Obviously, um, the two um, drives in there, so you get RAID redundancy, so you're guaranteed that if one fails, you'll know you've got a backup. Of course, you must my view is that you shouldn't just leave that as the backup you should really treat that as one backup and then have another backup um, which I do on an external hard drive um, that kept it in case there's fire or burglary or something where the whole unit will be gone um, so <clears throat> it's my final thoughts basically are it's an easy setup it's uh, compared to all most yet NAS units, NAS units, it's um, a reasonable price, a decent price. It is very good quality, nice metal. The whole thing is metal. Um, it's a good quality unit, 
Um, it looks good. It is once you set it up, it is very much a set it and forget it um, piece of equipment. It really it does make you a backup. So you know none of that. Yeah, you meant to back up. I meant to back up. Um, it makes you back up. Um, and for that, I think it's worth the 200 euros that the unit in itself costs, plus the discs, drives that you uh, would have to get with virtually any type of backup system. Um, <clears throat> so, my only problem I, I have got is with the included um, backup program that run with, runs on it, and I could just not fathom it out and I, I wouldn't consider myself a, a total newbie when it comes to um, computers and stuff and usually with a bit of googling I can sort things out um, but this really defeated me however that you may not have that experience certainly I haven't read um, that experience at all um, and of course you can use alternative backup software on your computer which works perfectly as well just as good um, better in my view because I find it easier to control um, and to uh, set that sort of thing up. There may, of course, in the add-ons, uh, there may be other backup programs that you can actually download. Um, I haven't really looked into it. But <clears throat> certainly, if you want an AS unit um, and that's the backup um, system that you want, and I do think it's a, a good system because it does help to sort of automate backups then I do recommend the Netgear unit it's a good quality unit a good quality company um, I haven't seen any um, other NAS units that has the functions um, that this has um, any cheaper I mean slightly more expensive um, and yes I would recommend it I would give it uh, certainly a well recommended and I'd, I would say to anyone certainly include it um, in your list um, when you're looking for a NAS unit um, and it would certainly um, be in the top three of any NAS units that I was looking at buying. So I hope you found this uh, little overview and little review um, helpful um, and now that I've got a tripod of course um, and hopefully I can extend my videos a bit longer so they're not chopped up into parts. Um, I'll see you on the next video that I'll do, which I promise won't be too long away. Anyway, until next time, bye.